and welcome to Verity Heart Sets Vera. Do you know you and I have got some loopy thinking going on? Now Albert Einstein said, well the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So the thing is our own thinking creates those results. So if you're currently experiencing some discontent in, you know, like you're not happy with your finances, you're not happy with your weight or your fitness, you're not happy in the job you're in, you're not happy with the relationships. Well, guess what? The good news is this is all in your control. Now, what I call loopy thinking is based on this diagram that I've created, which will explain what I mean. It all comes down to what we believe. Our beliefs create our thoughts and our thoughts will determine our actions and our actions will create results and those results will reconfirm what it is that we believe in the first place. Now, practical examples of what I mean. If you believe that you've got certain skill set that is perfect for a particular type of job, you think, yep, I'm perfectly suited for this type of job. If you really believe that, the, the thoughts in your mind will be things that drive you towards getting that kind of job. You'll take action, you'll do the research, you'll You'll basically be the person, you'll be acting like the person who believes that they are the perfect fit. You'll be taking action, getting those interviews, and whether it be on the first go, the fifth go, the tenth go of, of an interview, whether it be for this company, that company, or some, somewhere else, you'll eventually get that job because you've got this inner belief that you are a direct match for that job. And when you get it, that will simply reconfirm what you believed in the first place. On the other hand, if you might like a certain job, but inside you're really thinking to yourself, well, I don't have the right experience, I'm too old, I'm too young, I don't have the right education or, or whatever. Well, your thoughts will then create certain actions you might still go for that job but you certainly won't be sitting in any interview or you won't be presenting yourself as a person who believes that they are the right fit for that job and when you don't get that job that will simply reinforce what you believe that you're too young too old not right education not right experience whatever the case may be now the thing is our beliefs are hardwired. They are things that have been programmed into us from the word get go. And it could be from our parents, schools, friends, it could be experiences that we've, we've had and it could be things that we've witnessed. So those experiences might be our own personal experiences or they might be ones, I don't know, that we see on the news or something. But they all determine what it is that we believe. And then we start to look for, we start to action things that will reinforce those beliefs. But the good news is, well, we can change some of those beliefs if they're not serving us. You see, we can have beliefs about ourselves, about the world, about other people that support us, empower us, or that limit us. And it's those beliefs that we can change if we choose to. And I won't kid you, it's not that easy. They are habits of believing, they are habits of thinking, which then in turn create actions, which create results that reinforce that habit. Now, we can change them. It can feel clunky and uncomfortable. Think of it as, you know, if you're right-handed and I ask you to pick up a pen in your left hand and write your name. It feels very unnatural. It's barely legible. Your handwriting is barely legible. Do it enough times, your writing will start becoming more and more legible. But the default will remain your right hand. That's where your hand will naturally go when you automatically go to write something. It's right to the right hand. So you need to pay attention. 
and you can on purpose say, oh, hang on, no, not right hand, I want to write with my left hand. And you will stop yourself on purpose and pick up the pen in your left hand and write. So our thoughts work the same way. The first step in changing our limiting beliefs and our limiting thoughts, which produce limiting actions and limiting results, the first step is to notice them and on purpose switch those thoughts. So how do you notice? What do you notice? How do you know if you've got a limiting belief? Well, you'll be saying things like, I can't do that because dot, 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 whatever that excuse is, that's your limiting belief. That won't work because whatever it is you insert in that space, that would be your limiting belief. So step one is to catch yourself doing that, saying those things and going, hang on, that's a limiting statement of what I believe about myself, about other people, about the world, about systems. And then step two is to change that statement. It is going to feel clunky and it doesn't matter how you change it. You find anything that will switch that negative perception to a positive one. So instead of I can't because, change it to a I can because. So, you know, going for that job. I can't go for that job because I don't have the right experience. Limiting belief. I can go for that job because I've got the right attitude. Now, it doesn't matter what you switch that belief to as long as it is away from disempowering, negative, limiting thinking to something that is empowering because it's that empowering belief, that empowering statement, that empowering thinking, which will create a different action, which will then also create a different result. So going back to what Albert Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. If you do want to experience a different result, the thing you're doing, the action that you're taking needs to change. And the only way an action will change is if your thoughts will take you in that direction, in that new direction, that new empowering direction. And your thoughts will, will shift, your beliefs will shift from that limiting space, limiting actions, limiting beliefs, to empowering beliefs.